How's it going, Teal Boys? It is update day. Oh my gosh, the college football revamp mod team put out today the NCA 14 utility tool, uh, which allows you to do the normal database editing stuff that has been available for a while, but it also allows easy editing of uh, top 25 polls, and it introduces a playoff system into the game, both a four-team and an eight-team system. So we're going to go through how this works uh, right now. Now, I've started up this Oregon Dynasty just so that we can see it because, uh, you know, I got I to gotta make my Ducks the number one team and get them in the playoff, right? So right off the bat, we can see we're number nine. We're going to go into this. Uh, well, we'll skip through into week two just to really make sure that everything is settled into place. Now we can see that into week two, the Ducks are ranked number eight. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the NCA 14 utility tool. And while I've got this open, we can see that there's three options, database editor, poll editor, and the college football playoffs. So right off the bat, we can take a look at the database editor. This is something that a lot of people will be familiar with. Um, now for the RPCS3, uh, if you want to open up a file, you go to open file. And for me, all my stuff is saved uh, in my RPCS3 folder. So you'll go to the hard drive zero folder into the home folder. 001 into the save data and now you can see we've got all of our saves and the rosters and the road to glory and all that so this one we've named the playoff folder you'll open up your folder and then it's the usr data file so we'll open that up and now we can see this is what the normal database editor is in a, just a different format so you've got all of these um different tables that you can edit um like for example we can go down to the team one where you have all this information about each team um so if you know how to use the editor this is exactly the same thing as you you'll be used to just kind of in a different format if you don't know uh, i'll link a video to uh, a good tutorial on how to use the database editor but for now what we want to do is edit the poll so go into the poll editor we'll open our file the same one that we just used and it will load the file and then now we can see our top 25. Now I do still have the uh, the game open behind us. So let's just see, just to make sure everything works. We've got uh, our top 25 here. Uh, Oregon's an eight that one and oh, Clemson, Ohio State, Bama, Oklahoma. Let me move this out of the way. And we can go now to our top 25 poll where we can see that it's Clemson, Ohio State, Alabama, Oklahoma. So the uh, the file loaded in properly. And we'll go ahead now and edit some stuff. So I want Oregon to be number one. So we'll just go ahead and move Oregon up to the number one spot. And let's pick a team that uh, we don't think belongs in this top five. Uh, just because they keep beating the Ducks in Rose Bowl games and whatnot. Ohio State is going to be moved down way down the list. Can we actually just drag it? Oh, look at that. You can just drag them down the list. So now Ohio State's sitting at that 25th spot. Can we make it even worse? What would be, can we pull one of these over? I actually uh, haven't tried this yet. We're gonna go ahead and take Coastal Carolina and just move the Chanticleers up here into the 26th spot on the board. We'll move Ohio State down. And that brings Coastal Carolina up and now we'll bring Coastal Carolina up into second place. That's a big change, especially since they're 0-1. Um, that's this is just the coaches poll. We also would have to edit the media poll. So let's go ahead and do that. Shouldn't be too difficult. We want it just to be uh, a little bit more consistent. There's our Coastal Carolina. We'll bring them up to the top here. Scroll back down. Get Ohio State out of there. Bring Coastal Carolina. So it's very easy. Drag and drop. All that sort of stuff. There's beautiful buttons. So there's our coaches top 25 our media top 25 and the college football playoff one doesn't become available until week nine in a dynasty but you could uh, edit that as well and then we're going to go ahead and hit the save button it'll save the file and now we will just load back in and look at that now we're the number one team if we go to our top 25 poll uh it's going to be us in first place with Coastal in second. It edits all the points uh, in the first place votes as well. And if we go down to others receiving votes, we can see Ohio State is there in the 26th spot. Uh, they dropped out from being number two, even though they did win their game. So that's how easy it is 
to edit stuff. Maybe maybe you've got a team that you feel, you know, sometimes in this game, Alabama will be like eight and five at the end of the season and they'll be too high ranked. And maybe you want to change that free stuff. Now you have that ability and it's super, super easy. But now let's sim to the end of the season and set up a playoff. So we're going to go all the way to uh we're gonna go to our conference championship week and then we'll jump back in and edit the playoff all right so we've made it to conference championship week you can see the ducks went nine and four i believe they actually won the pac 12 ohio state seems to have won the big uh 10 but let's go ahead and see um what the heck appalachian state is, is num wait were they number two in the country Oh, this is interesting. App State goes undefeated. So this is what our, our top two looks like. This would be our national championship game, Florida versus Appalachian State. Um, but we're going to do an 18 playoff. So again, we'll bring back the utility tool. And, you know, I'll show you the 14 playoff. It's three steps. You'll want to follow these directly. And when you download this, there's a readme uh, file that comes with it. You want to go through and read the instructions just to make sure that you do everything right. It'll walk you through, I think, how to load the, your files if you're on a PS3 or a Xbox 360. But this is what we would do to change uh, for a 14 playoff. So uh, by default, it just takes one, one versus four and two versus three in the BCS poll. Um, and then you would set your your uh, semifinals, you would play them, you would set your national championship, you would play it or sim it, I guess, and then you would finalize the playoff. But we're going to do the 18 playoff, so we'll go ahead and click on that. And by it says, let's see, let me just let me just do some reading for you guys. Um, by default, bids are given to the following uh, ACC champs, Big Ten champs, Big 12 champs, Pac-12 champs, and SEC champs, and then the highest ranked G5 team and two at-large bids, uh, which are the highest ranked teams that did not get one of the six auto bids. So that seeds them one through eight according to their BCS rank. And then you can, you, you know, you have your quarterfinals. So we'll set up the playoffs, which means we open our file. It's the same one that we had before. It'll load the file. And now with our file, we can actually see what this playoff looks like and we can change things. So we could change which bowl is which. Um, they will automatically set uh, which bowls are used as uh, the semifinals and all that just based off of your dynasty's years. But you can also change who's in each spot. So if we wanted to put uh, the Raging Cajuns in place of Oregon, we could do that. So it's just that simple. You just click. So we do want Coastal Carolina playing, right? Um, and maybe we don't want Cincinnati. So we'll go ahead and bring the Chanticleers in. Um, and this is what it looks like. So Clemson won the ACC, Florida won the SEC, Ohio State won the Big Ten, uh, Oregon won the Pac-12, App State's our highest ranked G5, uh, Iowa State, one of these two, I think Iowa State probably won the Big 12, Oklahoma's the next uh, highest bid, and so on and so forth. So this is what it looks like now there's uh this little screenshot button if you want it'll take a screenshot of this so you can post on social media or whatnot which is very cool and then you'll go ahead and hit this arrow in the bottom right and that's your playoff set so you'll hit check and then from there now you can edit bowl matchups as well so these are placeholder teams these uh these are the teams that will not be getting a bowl bid um, just because of the way that it works, you put in placeholders for these and then you'll edit them out after you play the, uh, the first quarterfinal games. So you can't edit the placeholders and you can't edit the, um, the quarterfinal matchups, but, um, let's see what's, uh, what's a fun one. Well, let's go with the citrus bowl. So we'll go ahead and click on the edit matchup. It's the Citrus Bowl against an 11-2 Alabama at number 8 and an 11-1 Cincinnati at number 6. But we're going to disrespect Alabama because they always have it easy. And we're going to put in a team that doesn't typically do too well. I'm a Ducks fan. We're going to pick the Beefers. <laughs> Oregon State will now be playing in this matchup in the Citrus Bowl against Cincinnati, which means that Alabama, uh, I believe, won't get a bowl game. So sucks for them because they've been placed into one of these placeholders, um, which we could also change. We could change what team, you know, isn't given a bowl game. So we'll just go ahead and pick Wyoming. And so now Wyoming is there. So we've done all that. We can edit our top 25 in the college football playoff here as well, just by clicking on this uh, ranking button right next to where it says bowl season. But I'm happy with what we're at. We're just trying to show 
how we do our 14 playoffs. So now we'll save the dynasty file. And since that's done, we can go ahead and exit. It'll bring us back to this and let's go ahead and load it back into our dynasty. So we'll go in here. We had a matchup against uh, Ohio State at thought, but now it's a matchup against Florida. So let's go ahead and go to ESPN. We can see the, uh, well, let's take a look at just the, the bowl game. So again, the placeholders will be a little bit wonky, but here's our Citrus Bowl. We can see Oregon State at six and six. We'll be playing Cincinnati. Um, and then we can see like our Rose Bowl and all of that is is all set up as it should be in the placeholder games like the Fiesta Bowl right now. It's showing Stanford and Troy um, in the next step because the Fiesta Bowl is like a semifinal game or, or the championship game uh, at, in the next step. This will get reset so that uh, whoever deserves to be in that spot will be put into it. So what we'll do now is we have to go to our scores and schedules and we have to sim the semifinal games. So. Hopefully the Ducks make it here. I kind of expect Florida to win this, but we'll sim the Rose Bowl. And Oregon actually won 36-13. Hey, that's perfect. Now let's do the Sugar Bowl matchup between Oklahoma and Appalachian State. We'll sim that one. And it is, I think that was Oklahoma winning, beating the uh, the Mountaineers there 38-10. to Now we can do Coastal Carolina at Iowa State. Got to imagine the Teal Boys lost. No, Coastal Carolina, who was 3-9 on the regular season, wins their quarterfinal matchup against Iowa State, 27-24. to uh, You can't make this up. And now Ohio State and Clemson will be the final one, so we'll simulate that. I think that was, yeah, Clemson beating Ohio State, 42-37. So our semifinals now are going to be Clemson, Coastal Carolina, Oklahoma, and Oregon. So now we'll back out. We'll go and save our um, our dynasty. So it's saved now, and we can bring back the utility tool. So we've got this back up, and now we'll we'll click on the 18 playoff again. But this time we'll click on step two, which you know after playing or simming the four quarterfinal games, we load the file, and the app's gonna set it up. So we'll load the file, the same file we've been loading the whole time. And we can see that the teams that should have advanced have advanced. So Oregon will play Clemson. Oklahoma will play Coastal Carolina. Um, we can't really edit anything at this point. But again, you can take a snapshot to show, you know, the progression of your playoffs. So we'll go ahead. And now that it's loaded, we save it. The Dynasty file has been saved. So we'll exit out of that again. And it brings us back to this screen. And we can go back and reload our Dynasty one more time. So now we'll load our dynasty again, and it will get, we're 10 and four. So we played 14 games and we have another one here against Clemson. So what we can do is go back to ESPN. We'll go to our scores and schedules just because that's how you get to these matchups easily. And we can see we're now playing in the Peach Bowl against Clemson. So we'll sim this game and Oregon has won that as well. So you can see it again. It's giving us all the trophies and everything. Oregon doing very well. Who's going to win the other semifinal game between Oklahoma and Coastal Carolina? And again, in these placeholder games, now it looks like Stanford won the Sugar Bowl, but it'll edit the record so it doesn't give them that win. But Oklahoma versus Coastal Carolina. Would it be? It would be so poetic if the Teal Boys made it through. I don't think they did. That looked like a, a pretty bad beating, 37 to seven. So the Sooners will make it through. And once again, what we're gonna do is back out and we will save our dynasty file again. And now we will back out of the dynasty and bring the utility tool back over. And again, we will click on the 18 playoff. Now we go to step three, which is setting up the national championship. So pretty simple, open up the file, the same file we've been using. And this, there it is, Oregon versus Oklahoma at the end of the 18 playoff. It's played in Miami, but you can change uh, where we're going to play. And, you know, because uh, I like the Rose Bowl, we're going to choose the Rose Bowl. It was already played once for the Ducks. They had success there. So we'll do that again. It says it's in Los Angeles. And again, you can take your snapshot. But after that, we'll go ahead and save the file again. Exit from this tool and we will load the dynasty again. And look at that, 11 and four, and now we play Oklahoma. So we can go back to the scores and schedules, and the Ducks one should be at the top. You can see now, it's got that uh, college football playoff icon. 
21 Oregon versus number seven Oklahoma will sim the game and it is the Ducks winning it all. They win the national championship. I swear I couldn't make this up. That is so perfect. 35 to 30. The Ducks have won it. They go 12 and four on the season. So obviously that's not normal to have 16 games. But now what we'll do is we'll back out. And for the final time, we will save our dynasty and then use the utility tool. So once again, hitting the 18 playoff. Now we go to step four. This finalizes everything. It sets everything up. And you need to do this before you advance past the bullwink. And it will load the file. And again, we can take a snapshot if we want, but it shows the Ducks as the champions somehow making the run as the eight seed in the playoffs. So a reason for uh, an 18 playoff. There is a possibility of some sort of Cinderella story, but we will go ahead and once again, save the file. We will back out of the tool and we will load our dynasty file one more time. Uh, we're at the end of the bowl weeks. We are 12 and four, and now we can advance into the end of the bowl season. So just like that, we end the season. We get ranked number one. They really, really liked that. Uh, and it says that we took home the 2013 national championship tainted in controversy. Uh, not really sure what that means, but hey, it works for us. Um, and if we go to our coach contracts, you can actually see it has the Pac-12 and the Rose Bowl game uh, and the Peach Bowl game all as victories. I don't think it can show everything, but it does show that 12 and four record. So everything got applied properly. And just to see everything, uh, we show up in all of these bowl games. The, the Peach Bowl shows us winning. The Rose Bowl, it shows us winning. Uh, the National Championship, it shows us winning. And, and it's set up like that for every single team so that it truly gives uh you know every team uh, everything they deserve and gets all the records set up so this works so perfectly and it's honestly really easy to use so that's how you use this incredible utility tool they even get you a nice link to download the college football revamp mod but how incredibly useful is that and hats off one more time we're going to continue to do it, but one more time for the college football revamp mod team because they are doing such incredible work. And, you know, we did get a new NCAA game announced, but it's going to be a while. And these guys are going to continue to work on this game and this mod. And oh my gosh, if this is the sort of stuff that they can do, what other features could we potentially get? Hopefully this was a useful video for anybody trying to figure out how to use the utility tool. And I cannot wait to use this um, with our Teal Boys Dynasty and with our live one with the Wisconsin team. So hopefully it's something that you guys have enjoyed. Uh, it's so incredible how easy it worked. They've, they've really done an amazing job. So the links for uh, the revamp mod and everything will be down in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing if you have not done so already. Um, and then while you're down there subscribing, head on down to the description where you will find links for my Twitter as well as my Twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster and uh, a link for our community discord as well. That being said, try to wrap this one up to keep it short and sweet, but hopefully this was incredibly useful for you guys. I cannot wait to use this, but regardless, wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning and we'll see you later. Adios.